We're here with Johnny, nothing more. How you living, man? How's everything since we seen you last? Uh, really good, man. It's been busy, probably the busiest year of my life, but uh, yeah. in a good way, yeah. You know, I haven't tracked the tour date by date, but have you got to do any overseas or anything yet? Um, we've been to Europe, uh, or I've been to Europe four times in one year. And just you? Just me. I, uh, the guys and I have been a total of three times. I went first without them to do press. Yeah. Um, we've been to Japan, been to Australia. We're going back to Europe one more time. Uh, so who's feeling weeks. it of all those countries? Who's really feeling what you're doing? Who uh, do you feel like you're connecting with? Um, I would say, there. so connecting with the live show, uh, Japan was pretty amazing, but mm -hmm. I hear they're amazing for everyone, so it almost makes me feel like ah, you just yeah. like it's anyone like, from it's America. Like dating a hooker, right? Right, right. <laughs> More importantly, <laughs> where's the hottest groupies at? Which country is the hottest groupies? Oh, my. Oh, man. That's a tough question. Um, I would say the prettiest women were in Australia. Yeah, really? I did. Yeah. You're from Australia. Yeah. Yeah, um, That is awesome, man. Uh, <laughs> that you've got to finally. Do you have the, even the time to slow down and enjoy where you've been yet? Or is it just, it's another door, another stage, another microphone? <laughs> uh, you know, in moments. Yeah. It's it's uh, pretty hectic most of the time. And it's, uh, okay, today we got to do this. we got to do this many things before mm -hmm. we get on stage and then get off and get to the point A to point B. And um, so there's a lot of that. But we do get to take a moment every once in a while, especially... Um, when we have an off day the next day, we get to enjoy the night. and Right. It's pretty cool. You've, uh, a lot of people don't realize this sixth album probably had close <laughs> to a dozen members. You're finally getting what you were asking for back when you were just behind the drums. Are you, uh, are you enjoying it? Are you a little bit disillusioned? Are, are you saying, I want to do it a little bit differently? Where, where's your head at? Man, um... My head's at a different place every week. It kind of depends when you when you ask me, but in general, I'm in a really good spot. Uh, right. I think we're all just feeling. Um, I think I think we're very fortunate to have have gone for that many years without really making it, if you will. Yeah. Um, because you were we all the, really you were appreciate the base. it. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're we can really taste it. You know, like yeah. I think a lot of bands, uh, you know, maybe in the past when when rock was a much quicker mm -hmm. turnover. Yeah. Um, you know, There's you don't feel as much. Out. You kind of go straight into it. Um, I, you know, we were talking to bands that were older than us, and they said they toured in a van for like three months, and then they were in a bus. And we're like, oh, wow. <laughs> Try like, you know, close to 10 years, you know, and that, and, and you know, there's, every band's a different path, but for us, we're really feeling the, uh, the, the turnover and the change and just the way people are experiencing the show and are feeling the music so we're in a really good spot and we're really uh confident going into the next record too because it's not we're a baby band in the sense of national uh, profile national profile but we're not in, in experience uh so yeah that's one of the things that i was thinking about on the way up here you know the last corn album had two singles the last five finger death punch album had two singles you're rocking on the fourth one on the same album that's actually a privilege these days to be able to release that many songs from one album. Yeah, uh, we didn't even know. Uh, we thought for sure we were going to do three singles because that's what we agreed to with the label, 11-7. Mm -hmm. And they said they wanted to do a fourth one because they were that excited about it. So it's definitely something that we're very um, thankful for because they didn't have to do that. Right. Um, so it's pretty exciting, yeah. And it's also the big ballad, which it, I know from the 80s, that means the women start showing up to the show. It's like, <laughs> crazy! You know, we're, we're, it's funny you say that. We're, we're trying to gear this one a little bit more as far as how we... Um, we're talking about doing a music video, but we're not, we're not sure at this stage if we're going to do it or not. But right. we're hoping it does connect a little bit more with the female dem demographic. Because up right. until this point, you know... Uh, you well, know, you our show's sit. high energy, very testosterone driven, but... <laughs> yeah, but you don't sit down and say, I'm going to make music for dudes. You say, I'm going to make music for people. Right, right. But that does bring in that extra element. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the rock genre in general is a little bit, um, you know, excludes women in a lot of times just because it is so hard hitting. Um, and that's why, uh, like you said, a ballad or something like that can, can open up the door to, to people who aren't so much into the heavy side all right man we appreciate it we hope you have a, a great uh, road trip and uh i mean how much longer are you on the road actually uh got like 
a week and a half more with Shine Down and Breaking Benjamin. Yeah. Then we go home for two weeks. Then we go to Europe for three weeks. Wow. And Japan for a few days. Then we're home for Christmas and we're done. And then that's it. And then the, then next record is what we're. So working that on. is the road into the road trip, man. It, yeah. And I'll bet you, you just wake up the day after and go, "What happened?" Yeah, what, yeah. What happened? We man? were just in an arena the other day, um, and it, we were there last year with Five Finger and Hell Yeah and Volbeat, and literally a year has passed since then and i was like no way we're here a year ago i feel like i was just here days like a month ago yeah it was crazy it's weird man but it's been it's been good rides just uh blur